Now we're going to start building out the proportions and the plumb line. And I just want to remember you, remind you that there's always a purpose. Everything we're doing, I think I should always tell you what the purpose is. In this particular drawing, what I'm doing first is my purpose is to be able to draw these figures accurately. I'm not going for a clean, perfect illustration. As a matter of fact, if I get a nice drawing that I'm really happy with, then I can pull down a clean sheet and use that under sketch as a guide and then maybe do something really quick and improvisational and cool on top. But right now, what I'm doing is we're all starting out. What I'm going to do is draw all of my process on the page and build up a figure that's accurate. So I wanted to talk about the balance line, right? Well, what happens if you don't use it? Uh, oftentimes, it's the figures in proportion. It's got the motion and the movement. The pelvis is tilting one way, the shoulders tilting the other way, but the model looks like she's falling. Or she looks like she's not falling, but she looks stiff or like she's not standing on her feet. Balance line solves all of that. And again, like Matisse said, there is no madness in my curves. He says every curve he sees in relationship to the pure vertical and the pure horizontal. And now this is that's one of the best, best exercises you can ever have. So while you are viewing this at an angle, I want you to know that there's always vertical is a pure thing. It's not relative, it doesn't change. It it's abstract and it's always there. So you can use the vertical whether you use your pencil or just your eye and compare anything to the vertical like the leg. How vertical is it or not? How vertical or not is this leg? It's using a pure vertical helps me very quickly gauge that this leg is rather vertical. This leg is not vertical at all. The top is an inch and a half away from the pencil. The bottom is touching the pencil. Now every leg has a different amount of angle compared to a pure vertical. Every one of them. And that kind of reference is priceless. I can also use the pure horizontal to compare, for example, the shoulders. I see that this shoulder is higher. Actually, I'm finding these two shoulders are exactly on the same horizontal, whereas this shoulder is higher, other shoulder is lower. U using the pure vertical will uh, stop you from a thinking you, what, what you think you see and see what you really see. For example, I thought this shoulder was higher than this shoulder. When I tested it against a pure horizontal, I actually found that they were the same. Illusions like that come up all the time. So having a pure horizontal or a pure vertical to compare to makes a big difference. Another thing that people tend to assume is straight is waistbands. You know, holding a straight line against the waist helps you see that the line is rounded, not straight. Um, it also helps me see that it's not straight across. It's higher on the right, lower on the left. Um, using that pure angle. Now I'm going to do that in my drawing. Let's start drawing, huh? All right, here.